today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to do a daily vlog and a full day of eating. And we will get this keto field trip started right, right after, after this. this. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics. Sometimes we go on different field trips. Magic school bus. <laughs> And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're gonna do like a full day of eating vlog. Well, it's like 12.30 and so far there is no eating in this day of eating. Well, we did start off the day, you had coffee. I had black coffee. I had a stevia energy drink. A stevia energy drink, what is that? What is that? Oh, Zevia. Oh, a Zevia, okay. Zevia energy drink. And I had a scoop of Ultima in water. Okay. Cause I was just feeling like, I don't know, like down in the dumpers. I think I slept too long. Is that a thing? <laughs> Can you sleep? Well, you today sleep? was weird. We woke up at like 6.30. That's late for us. I mean, I feel like the whole day is shot if I don't get up at five o'clock. But I got up and I did a bunch of shipping and went to the post office in FedEx. But I don't know, something about being two hours off just like wrecked me. So, so far today, I haven't had anything to eat. The only thing I've had all day was I had two big mason jars of water, and then I had a um, seltzer water that I opened up last night. It was still sitting on the counter. Ew, flat. So I wanted to finish that up, and now I'm drinking a Dr. Zevia. Oh, I'm drinking a bubbly. And so for me, I'm trying to like do a little bit of intermittent fasting today. I got up this morning when we woke up at like, well, I woke up a little bit before you actually. I know, this I, whole thing's upside down. I went and I started your coffee for you. Thank you. I did my reading and then I went back to finish watching an episode of a TV series that I'm watching right now. I'm actually re-watching this series. It's called Wentworth. So I love prison dramas. I know. And this one is really good. It's actually like from Australia. Yeah. And it's available like on their Netflix. their accents. They're awesome. Yeah. It's just, it's really good writing. It's got a really good storyline. Very suspenseful. Like every season ends with, oh my gosh, I can't wait till next season. We need to watch out for this truck who is like loaded down with pallets in front of us, but they look absolutely Not even loose. tied down. Loose yeah. pallets. Yeah, so I just finished the last season that just came out of Wentworth, but I decided I want to go back and rewatch it. So I'm rewatching that. So Joe, a lot of times, will be watching television late after I've already gone to sleep. It's always nice to like wake up out of your sleep with like screaming prison inmates, like screaming, and you don't know why, and you just wake up to that. <laughs> We did start a new TV series together last night, which is super promising looking. It's called Yellowstone. And I watched three fourths of that episode. You have to watch the end. Asleep. So it's with Kevin Costner and it's on the Paramount Network. And that's a thing now? Yeah. But it's it is really, really good. I really we only watched the first episode, but it was like an hour and a half long, so I don't blame you. We're watching it late. What I saw was good. And I know the second season is on right now. So we have at least a little bit of binge watching to do because we have the whole first season. And then by the time we get through that, we'll have the second season as well. I will mess up all of the uh, storylines in my mind across all of these things. And it will be like, whack. <laughs> when I did get up, the first thing I did was... I went and started the grill because we're doing a brisket. Yay! So we took that brisket out of the freezer last week, so it's been defrosting in the refrigerator for like three days because it's like a 17-pound brisket. And here we are, off of beef and butter, yep. and our first meal is beef. Well, there's a huge difference between brisket and ground beef. True that. So, so that's what we're doing today, and I, I'm pretty much going to do... I'm not going to do an OMAD today, but I'm going to do pretty much all of my eating over like a two or three hour window. Same here. So I figure by the time we get home, like the brisket will 
I don't know, close to be done. When I left, when we left the house, and it's noon right now, or it's actually it's 12:30. It was like at 190 degrees. So we're headed to Sawgrass Mills Mall, but we failed to bring a suitcase. I hate Sawgrass Mills Mall. It's got a lot of traffic. If you've never been in South Florida, South Florida has Sawgrass Mills Mall. It's a giant outlet mall. It's a huge tourist attraction. Yeah, so people come from all over the place and they literally buy suitcases to walk through the mall and shop in it. I, I can understand why though, because if you had to like buy something and then head back to your car, like you would never get through the mall. You need to be able to take all of your stuff with you because you're on gonna be on like a five mile walk. I just get annoyed with the mall because it is so big. There's only a few entrances. And then like, of course the store that I wanna go to is always somewhere in the middle. So you can't ever remember what entrance is it near. Yeah. And then you have to like schlep through this entire mall like tripping over people who are toting their suitcases and their kids and and it's like then you get the people who walk like seven people wide across the aisle and I'm like I just want to go. I was gonna say you're usually on a hunting mission. Yes. And and they're window shopping. Exactly. As most people do when they're shopping in a mall. It just annoys me. I have a purpose. I want to get to my store, get what I want, and get out. You're all business. All business. But we're going there because I want to go to Lake Crusade. I got an email that Lake Crusade was having a huge clearance sale on certain colors, like 60% off. And I'm looking for a new Dutch oven, a cast iron Dutch oven. And we really don't care what color it is. I don't care what color it is. I just want a round one because um, I only have a big oval one and it takes up a lot of room. Like when you put it on the stovetop, when I put that on, I can't put something behind it. And it is really big. And we've been making a lot more like chilies and things like that. But not enough to feed an entire army. Yeah. So the one I have right now, like if you're going to use it right, you have to put like four or five pounds of like ground beef in there. Right. So I just want something like maybe like a three or a four quart one instead of like an eight quart or nine quart right now. So while you are at Lake Crusade, I'm going to be going to David's Bridal looking for a dress because we have an event next week with our church. It's like a volunteer appreciation event and it's yep. this big fancy dinner and we, um, it's just like the Oscars really. Yeah, it's called like the Coasties. The Coasties and we have um, like awards for people on every single serve team so if you're in the parking team or if you're in first impressions you're at the coffee bar and, or you're in kids church then um there's volunteer appreciation awards for them and we dress up like super fancy so i gotta find a place that's not like an arm and a leg price wise that sells super fancy dresses yeah. and i usually go to thrift stores for most of my dresses but you can't count on you know a used prom dress or homecoming dress being in your size like I'd rather have a little bit more variety. Well, last year you found like an incredible like evening dress. $18 like yo. $18 so yeah. that's why we're going back there. Exactly. I'm sorry that I'm wearing a crazy dress like I hopefully I don't give anybody like a sensory like overload but I just <laughs> grab this dress and throw it through it on because pro tip when you're searching for like a fancy dress you want to wear a good bra you want to wear pantyhose if you usually wear pantyhose and you want to wear some heels so that you know like what you actually look like in the dress. There's so many times that I'm like, okay, well, this part of my belly's hanging out in this dress. However, when I wear pantyhose, it'll be fine. And it's like not fine. And I've gotten home and like not been able to zip things up because I thought I had like an inch or two extra room. That's a good point. Yeah. So we're back from the mall. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. First meal. It is 4.30. I cannot believe we waited this long to eat. Yeah, so it's about 19 hours for me. And like 21 for me. 21 hours for you. Man. Rachel's eating keto chow. I am. I'm eating snickerdoodle keto chow, a scoop of that with um, three tablespoons of butter. Right. And You have a lot. I added a crap ton of ice and made it a, a, a giant bowl of keto chow. And then I like to swish around some black coffee in the bottle to just get all the little bits of deliciousness right. that's left over. So yeah, so I made the keto chow early this morning with the regular water. We did three tablespoons of butter and then I filled it up with water for her. And then she just takes it and sticks it in the blender, in the Vitamix, with a bunch more ice to give her even more. It kind of waters it down, but that's how she likes to eat it. I just like to eat it like that. And then I've got, uh, this is probably about 
I don't know, about a third of a pound, a half a pound of ground beef. It's a little bit of what I have left over. Of your chili? Uh, it's not really a chili. It's about a third of, ba of a pound of ground beef uh, with just like a tablespoon or so of chopped up green peppers. Oh. And then probably just like a little bit of the taco keto chow. Oh, okay. Wow. And some avocado oil in there because it's 85-15 ground beef. Mm -hmm. Then I've got, we just did a video on chaffles. So uh, this is a chaffle, but we changed ours up a little bit. We add almond flour, so we'll link that recipe for you. Because we made you. it really easy. We made it really easy. So easy that Rachel could make it. And then also we just got an air fryer. We're not going to eat all these in one sitting probably. I may eat a bunch of them, but I know Rachel's going to eat one or two. But we just got an air fryer so we can play with things. So these are just some jalapenos and... Um, put a little bit of cream cheese in them, cheddar cheese on top. You took the seeds out. I took the seeds out. So, yep, so that's what we're eating for lunch. And then we're going to eat dinner probably about an hour and a half or so. And we're having brisket. We're doing brisket and we're going to take some Brussels sprouts that we still have left over and put those in the air fryer and try those. I'm so excited. Yep. But the brisket, I just checked that it's at like 210, 215 degrees. So it's perfect. We'll take it, just get it right, it's let it rest, and it's pretty much done. And I'm also making some more tallow. So Rachel found a dress. I did, and I love it. It's gorgeous. Hopefully you guys like it, but you'll see it next Tuesday. I right. think it would be better to just show you pictures of Yeah, we'll of put me pictures up next week for it. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be kind. If you hate it, like just be like, mm. I think it's incredible. Yeah. And then cute. I went to Lake Crusette and I found this awesome deal. They were having a great deal on like a bunch of different stuff. The guy was trying to get me to buy a whole bunch of different things. I was a little bit afraid to leave Joe alone in that store. I almost bought a second thing. They had this really nice like saucepan Dutch oven where it was like, it was like a sauce pot, like three, two or three quart. And then it had a, a, um, a cast iron frying pan that was also the lid. So you ended up getting two pieces. And it, that it's was like dangerous in that fifty percent off of the outlet store price, but I was good. I only got the one thing for now because the guy gave me a thirty dollar. I can't open this. He gave me a thirty dollar off coupon for the next time I come back. Are you gonna be able to get it? I'm just gonna rip the box because who wants the box anyway? Yeah, I don't think you're gonna save it. So yeah, so he's like, if you come back next month. We're gonna give you, he gave me $30 off of my purchase. Ooh, it's pink. So I got a five and a half quart Dutch oven. Oh, this is a oh. perfect pot. Look at that. I mean, you got the pieces on there. So this is like last year's model color, which I don't care about <laughs> colors at all. Is there a fashion to this for real? Yeah. Wow, yeah. look at how like darker it gets. Yeah, it's a nice piece. That is pretty. And this is like their better ones where it doesn't have, it has the, the metal top instead of the plastic top. So, so how much should it have been? I think the regular price on this is like well over $350 and like $50 or something like that. It was like, it's like, it's a much more expensive. You need to get a good deal at the outlet mall. I think the outlet mall price was like 240. Okay. And then I got 30% off of that. Nice. Yeah, so it is a more expensive piece, you know, than just going to the store and buying regular, you know, cast iron at like Walmart or something like that. But we've bought countless sets of the Walmart yeah. junky junk. Yep. I mean, and this is like all coated inside, lifetime warranty, anything happens to it, Lake Reset replaces it. And so what we do is we just, when we find a piece once in a while, like once every few months, we'll just add to our pieces. When it's on Uber sale. Whenever it's on Uber sale. And again, we don't care about matching. So every no. one of our cast iron pieces is a different color. I actually kind of like it like that. I do too. Well, that is our lunch. We're going to finish eating. Rachel's going to drink her to, soup. It's almost turned to soup at this point. And then we will check back in with you with the brisket. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. So this is our full day of eating. So I'll start off with what I've got. I've got about 15 ounces of smoked brisket. That doesn't make you sad. Started the brisket about seven o'clock this morning. Just took it off. It was resting for about an hour. I think so. the, the whole neighborhood is like, thank you. Please stop. Yep. Like and everything smells good, delicious. Oh my gosh. I will put a picture of what it came, looked like when it came out. The perfect smoke ring. I mean, you can't really tell but like from here, but I mean, oh my gosh, perfect dark pink smoke ring all the way around. I'm so proud. And the only seasoning I put it on today, salt and pepper. Like no coffee, no spices, just wow, salt and pepper. Wow, so keeping it simple. Then I have, we have some Brussels sprouts that we threw in the air fryer, tossed like everything we had left. We each have about a cup of Brussels sprouts. You can see mine. And uh, the Brussels sprouts were tossed in maybe like 
a half a tablespoon of avocado oil just to kind of crisp them up a little bit. And then Anthony, we're gonna have to have him make a video for this for the channel. Yeah. Made a keto dressing with like, there's a fly in so, here. A, like a horse fly. It's like chicken fat, heavy whipping cream, like a bunch of spices, and it's delicious. It's crazy good. Crazy good. So you've got 12 ounces of brisket. That's what 12 ounces look like. And then the Brussels sprouts and stuff. And then I'm gonna top mine probably with just a little bit of Alterna sweets. I just will probably add still a little bit of Redmond Real Salt. And I've got a Zevia like sweet tea. I have a few of these Salty. left from when they were on sale. Well, and um, Joe brought me home a new uh, blender bottle, which we need like a third butt cheek. Yeah, we definitely don't need another blender bottle, but how do but you not get a blender bottle that says Avocardio? Avocardio. So I, so I had to get that one. It's making me drink my water today. So before we eat, let's go over our macros. So I've got my chronometer here. Uh, my total is 2,045 calories. Nice. 173 grams of protein. I'm a little bit higher on protein, but I figured that like going in with all of this beef and I Risky. ate chaffle today and egg. 5.5 um, net carbs, 143 grams of fat. And uh, my total carbs is 7.1. Awesome. And just to give you an idea, I'm at 63% fat, 36% protein for the day. Nice. All right, so let's see. I'm at 71% fat, 25% protein for the day. Okay. Loving that. So I am at 1,465 calories. Let me scroll down here. 90 grams of protein. What is that? 115 grams of fat. Yep. I'm at 17 total carbs and 6.7 net carbs. And that's because you had a keto chow. So yeah. the keto chows, I mean, it's all good fiber and stuff like that, but yeah. you know, pretty much close to the same net carbs. So, so that is what we're eating for the day. And now so let's eat it. You're gonna eat it. And also while you're eating, so this was the fat off of the brisket because I get the whole brisket come cryo back. Right. And I trimmed it all off, put it in a Dutch oven on very low heat, First, I kind of grind it up in the Vitamix mm -hmm. so that it kind of breaks it down a little bit more. Just kind of simmered it all day, put everything through a cheesecloth, and now I have perfect tallow. It looks like butter. Yeah. So it will it will go clear. It'll get like a, a milky white, but smell that. Like, doesn't have any smell. That's why I love wow. tallow. Now, if you were to go to the store and buy this, you're like $10, $11 for this jar. I already paid for the fat. So it's something to think about. There's tons of ways to do it, but all you really have to do is just take all that fat. If you go to the butcher and have them trim and say, I want the fat back. They'll make you a, like a funny face at yep. first, and then you tell them what it's for. Yep. They'll be just like, put it in a food yeah. processor, put it into a pot, and then just put it on the thing. You want to simmer it and just stir it once in a while, and you'll see it'll just liquefy more and more and more. And it'll be left with the gristle at the end and little pieces of meat and stuff. Run it through a cheesecloth, and that's what you get. Perfect. And it's great for cooking and stuff. My one hint, if you do do that though, mm -hmm. do it outside. Don't do it in the house. Yeah. Or your house will smell like fat. Yeah. Which is not like a terrible smell. I mean, for keto people, it might be like a candle, like a Yankee candle. Yeah, flavor. I don't know. It's It's got a pretty, pretty distinct odor as it's cooking down all that gristle. So let's try this. And brisket is awesome. And I am loving these air fried Brussels sprouts. Well, well that's it. Awesome. Well, that is our video for today. That's what we eat in a day. And this is actually a little bit special day with the brisket and stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, we eat the brisket. Everybody's eating brisket. I still have more than half of it left over. So there's probably enough brisket for Rachel and I have at least three more meals for the week. And I paid $35 for the entire brisket. You can't really beat that. And it's really good. Yeah. Like, it's a nice meal. I mean, yep. it's a meal prep, which is great. But it's also delicious. Yeah. So... Well, that is our video for today. If you guys like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.